Hey, Vector. Wake up. You got stuff to do. Oh, look, there it is. The beautiful magic mirror that I made. Okay, so here are the materials. First thing I bought was a mirror frame for $10 to $30. I bought one from Walmart, Better Homes. It's good. You got to get two-way mirror glass. Do not try the acrylic. It looks like a clown mirror. Um, Raspberry Pi 3, $59.99 for the kit. Buy the kit. You need the kit. SanDisk Ultra 32. Get the 32 gig. Get the Ultra. You need those. Third LCD screen from Goodwill. Goodwill always has LCD screens. Always. Um, the wood was only $10. I bought three pieces. You could buy four for under $10. Wireless keyboard. You can get one off of Amazon for $10. Alright, let's get to programming. Okay, so... The first thing that you want to do is to download the Raspberry Pi OS um, program. Okay, so you're going to click the one that's appropriate for your operating system. I have a Mac, so I chose Mac. I did use Windows as the example, though. You're going to get a couple of security prompts, but go through them. Click the operating system, the recommended one. That way it'll send you through all the prompts. Click your SD card, mine was called boot or something, and then click right and it'll do this and download. Okay, so once Raspband has downloaded and everything is good, you'll be prompted to take your SD card out of the machine and you want to put it right into your Raspberry Pi. Like that. Okay. So the first thing you want to plug up to your Raspberry Pi besides your SD card is going to be your keyboard dongle and your USB port. Then you want to do your HDMI port and then power. Power is last. Add power and then hit that switch. Let the Raspberry Pi go ahead and boot up and then you'll be prompted to the screen. So once you get here, you'll get a bunch of prompts. You want to fill in the blanks and, you know, fill it. Fill it in according to you. You know how to set up Wi-Fi. I'm not going to insult your intelligence. You know how to put in passwords. And you can go through all these prompts. Then you want to hit Chromium. This is important. So go to Google and then you're going to type in Magic Mirror. And the first website that pops up is going to be the Magic Mirror website. So you're going to click on that and scroll down. And once you get down to easy to install, there's a docs button. You hit that button. Okay, so once you're in the docs, my recommendation is read these documents. But we don't have time for that for the video, so we're going to go through them. The requirements. Remember how I told you to use a Raspberry Pi 3? Do not buy the zero or the one. They are cheaper, but you will have trouble in the programming part. Don't do it. I did it. Don't waste your time. Once you get done with that, open your terminal and then you can follow the installation instructions from here. Again, I don't want to insult your intelligence. You can do this. This is not difficult. Just make sure you copy and paste everything that is highlighted in gray and put it into your terminal. Okay? So the advice that I have here is just follow the directions to the letter. Okay? And don't press anything until you get this Raspberry Pi prompt and you'll be fine okay I had trouble with this but that's because I was fooling with that Raspberry Pi Zero okay it was trash but you won't because you got the Raspberry Pi 3 so alright so now we're gonna go into that terminal one more time you're gonna put npm run start and ta -da! there you go your magic mirror pops up and it's all done that part is done so now we have to do the designing part which I mean that's the fun part right okay so back up no no no
Okay, so this is not my original frame, but this is the frame that I was going to use, but I'm gonna end up using it for another magic mirror for someone else. Um, and what you wanna do to measure the mirror is just measure the inside of the rim here. zip tie to put your hair in a ponytail are you really a girl what I did basically and you can do this the way you want to do it but the easiest way for me was basically to measure the distance of the frame because I wanted my mirror to go across landscape I measured the distance from the short side um, so what I'm gonna do is take the short side and measure it exactly and I'll do that twice okay and those will be my two short pieces can see that so this will be a short piece this will be a short piece and those two pieces will be tacked down here eventually once we create our frame for the monitor so once I measure the short pieces I go ahead and measure the long side right so I have cut the short pieces and I will put them on the side and I'm gonna measure you guys can't see I'm gonna measure the long side here with the short piece on the with the short pieces on the side. Okay. So the long pieces are gonna fit in between those two short pieces. Now we'll do that. For this frame, I was able to use this one piece again for the two sides. Long side, long side. So I will cut that. Luckily the LCD screen or TV screen that I chose had like these little brackets on the side. So it was real easy to just drill them into the wood 
um, and create like a frame around the wood. I also reinforced it with hot glue just because um, I wanted it to be super secure, especially since it's going to be on the wall. So I was able to drill um, pilot holes first because that's what happens when you don't drill a pilot hole. Okay, so what you want to do is get a uh, drill, um, drill the pilot hole first and then put the screws through the pilot hole. I learned that the hard way. I, I really didn't learn it the hard way because I already knew it, but I didn't listen. So that is um, how I ended up doing that. So these are the two short pieces that I told you to cut at the beginning. Um, and these are the long pieces. And they are just drilled straight into the frame. Um, I've drilled them in a couple of places in the frame. One here at the top. There's another one here. I drilled over here, and then down at the bottom here. Um, these drip, these holes here too. They have this bracket. They go all the way through to the frame. Same here. Goes all the way through to the frame. So that is very secure to the frame. And then I have um, these short pieces here. This short piece really is just to block the light from coming in. It does not do anything, secure anything, keep anything stronger, really. It just is there to block the light from coming from the other side. And then this one is secured um, in here because it is as you can see it's been drilled to the LCD screen and it's also blocking the light so basically I had a tiny little bit across there in the front and that's it that is how it should look oh um also I took the control panel or the on and off switches and everything for the TV and I just drilled it right into the little panel underneath the TV. Also, this is the Raspberry Pi 3. This is where I also, I, I just glued the feet to it to um, so it would stay there. I also think I put a screw right in the middle of it so that it would go straight, tacked straight into the, the bottom. The speakers here are held on. Um, by one screw as well in the back of the case. I took it apart and screwed it straight into the bottom of that bracket. So uh, that's where the speakers are. I got it working. Look at that. It's on now. Well, that's it. It's all done, and I'd like to thank you for checking out my tutorial. I tried to focus mainly on the programming portion of the video because there were so many great tutorials on how to build this mirror. Since I didn't have time to cover it, I will also add a link in the description down below. It's an excellent link on how to add modules, like the random YouTube module I used on this mirror. Thanks again for watching, and don't forget to hit that like button. If you like this video, please like it. And if you haven't already, subscribe so that you can see all the other projects that I plan to do in the future.